Greetings and welcome to the Sports Card Ripping Teacher. Summer school is in session. We're going to lead off today with a victory from Mr. 95 Cents. I love watching his channel and stories. And one of the last giveaways, I did win this Shaq rookie card. The big man, that's one of my favorite players growing up as a kid, even though he was not a Chicago Bull at any time. I love watching Shaq. And I try to teach the kids of today, he's not just a Papa John's guy, the guy on the in-studio thing. Like, he was a player. He was a mean dude. And Mr. 95 Cents also tossed in these collector books. I loved these as a kid. You know, this was reading. You know, you kind of fool your kids into reading different stuff here. Their personal stories. Uh, stats, but I loved on the back. What does Larry say? My father was the biggest fan I ever had. He never pushed me into playing basketball, but once I started to play, he was always there to support me. And that was true of my dad. But in college, I had to play college golf. He always said his favorite golfer was Jonas Bradley, one of my teammates. And that's because Jonas had... Um, perfected the bump and run shot. He was not one of those big flop shot guys, but he kept the ball close to the ground, and my dad always liked that. Doc Rivers, what did he say? You have to be humble all the time you're on the court. As soon as you get big-headed, you start making mistakes. I'd rather be humble and win than fancy and lose. That's right. I always tell a kid, none of that fancy stuff. Just put the ball into the bucket. J.R. Reed, what does he have to say? Loyalty means everything to me. I never had a brother, and that's how I look at the guys on the team. I'm an only child. That's true. You know, your teammates are some of the best friends you will ever have. All right, today we're going to get into this Bowman retail box. I did get in on the um, uh, Fanatics coupons that they had going on. Always good to get a bargain, that's for sure. Or not uh, Fanatics, but the, yeah, Fanatics. But it was the uh, Groupons. Groupons. So got in on those. It's always nice to save some money, that is for sure. Uh, one thing that did stink was some of the people that got in on the Groupon, at one point, uh, they said, enough is enough, and you can't buy anymore on the Fanatics website. So I don't know if that ever got straightened out or if those people were able to uh, purchase later. But if you offer a deal, you should definitely honor it. All right. I am going to super rip these. Um, most of you know that I kind of maybe specialize in the shorter daily rips. So hopefully my arms are up to a little longer rip here today. We'll have to wait and see. So I'll make some small talk. As I'm opening these packs, or if you want to go ahead and start uh, fast forwarding until I get them open, go right ahead. There's a lot of packs here, folks. I just saw uh, Brad from Doogie's Dugout. He ripped, I think it's fourth retail box. He did have some pretty sweet hits. So if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you've already seen him open that box. But if you have not, go ahead and take a look at his video. All right, first part here, let's see what we have. So a little bit of color there, I think. O'Neal, Josh Young, Samuel Munez, Jackson Holiday, Colson Montgomery. You may hear Jackson in the background. He is feeling better. I did ask him, Gunnar Henderson, I did ask him if he wanted to be in the video today. And uh, I know Wildcat's gonna like this if he watches. He asked, what are you opening? I said, oh, all right, we got Brian Acuna, 21 out of 499. That's a nice card right there, Jet Williams. I said, we're going to open up some uh, Bowman today. I said, eh, let me know if you do some uh, Mosaic. And what do we have here? A Cam Collier, number 44, and that is 64 out of 125, two numbered cards in one pack. I feel like we have one of those uh, influencer boxes going on here. So Jack said, let me know when you open up some mosaic. I said, well, I'll probably do uh, downtown on Friday. He said he's in for that Blaze Jordan. I tell you what, kids are spoiled these days. Another numbered one, and this is not one pack. I did super rip all of these, but that's 248 out of 250. Holy cow, we will sleeve those up here 
in a little bit. Hunter Green. Uh, Graham is at basketball camp. I know he would have been out here helping me. But the number one prospect, Jackson Trio of the Milwaukee Brewers, number one right there. Pretty sweet. Man, got some nice cards here. Got a backwards. Drew Jones. Stuck to another card. My goodness, holy cow. What do we have here? We have an autographed Drew Jones, 87 out of 150. Holy cow, on the paper, my goodness. I feel like I've got a lively card collector's box or maybe even a Doogie's dugout box here. This was not meant for the sports card ripping teacher, folks. Holy cow. So you probably won't mind if I do sleeve. A couple of these up here with some penny sleeves. My goodness, this is crazy. Got a Drew Jones. Got some stands here. I only got four stands, though. Was not expecting all of that. And that's from a quarter of the packs. Man, oh, man. This is crazy, folks. That's what summer school is for, I guess. Put that one there like that. This is just... Crazy Town. That one there. I'm in the down, down the downstairs area here, kind of a little bit cramped actually. So I'm kind of going a little gingerly around stuff. But uh, I'll need some more stands here for sure. I, Graham has them all in his room, I feel like. At least I hope we need some more stands. Let's put that one down there for now. But we've still got another quarter of that first stack to go, folks. This is crazy. Maybe super ripping them is the way to go all the time. Again, this might be the time to fast forward through some things. I'll make some small talk. Uh -huh. Saturday, I did plan on watching the Cubs game. It was a night game. Uh, Hugh Darvis was pitching. I did enjoy him as a Chicago Cub. And when I saw the Cubs lineup on Saturday, I was like, I've seen all that I need to see. I'm not going to watch this game. How do you have Master Boney batting leadoff, batting under 200, Tucker Barnhart doing your catching, batting ninth, batting under 200, and Edwin Rios... In the middle of the order, batting under 100. You can guess it, folks. Cubs scored zero runs. You Darvish won that game six to nothing. So I'm not sure if you had a complete game or not, but uh, I just didn't need to see any more of that game. All right, Paulie Goldschmidt. Kind of go through the base here or the paper pretty quickly. Baez, Grissom, Hopi, Outman, J-Rod, Miguel Vargas, Rojas, Junior, Caminero, Max Wagner. It's kind of crazy thinking that teams like Baltimore, Pittsburgh, those are the cards you want. Tamar Johnson, speaking of Pittsburgh, right there. It is good to see teams have been bad for a while getting good again. You know, for those fan bases especially. Gunnar Henderson. I think Bellows pitching tonight maybe. I think. I think it's them versus the Rays. Tony Blanco Jr., another Pittsburgh Pirate. Tristan Casas. Andy Pagas or Page Pages Pagas Dodgers. They usually have a pretty good farm system there. There's the Drew Jones paper. Trey Sweeney. 
All right, I'm gonna move these cards over here and let's do open up the other part of the box. Again, do some fast forwarding here, but with that first quarter of the packs that we had, my goodness, like what else could even possibly be in here? Uh, pretty excited for Tops. This week, Series 2 is coming out. I do have a pre-order for a hobby box, so hopefully that'll be here sooner rather than later. And I have made a couple purchases for the Tops now when the Cubs have done something good. And uh, one is already here. I think one should be here today. And one of them is, is a surprise. I did not order it from the Tops website, but it says free, zero, and I think it's shipping like today or tomorrow. So just kind of crazy to think that Tops is giving me something for free, because um, I know for sure that I did not order it. Um, but it does say on my inventory that it is processing, I believe with zero cost, I didn't use any top points or anything like that. So kind of interesting to see what comes. And that series two should be here maybe Wednesday or Thursday. All right, do the first quarter of that one there. Jordan Walker, sights on September. Even though he's with, he was with the big league, he started this season, he went down. I'm not quite sure if he's back up or not. Jordan Westberger, number 54. Man, all those big dogs that rip, you know, Matt Mervis, man oh man, Bowman first on the chrome right there. I mean, is that the hit of the box? I'm not sure what we have so far, but I do like it. Hopefully, Mash Mervis gets going. But those big dogs that are opening, like doing breaks, like they must have forearms like Popeye. Khalil Watson. It's not easy. I did work out earlier today, though, so I'm a little sore, a little, you know. No, uh, Nolan Gorman, very sharp right there. The Santos. Brady House on the prospects. All right, we got the last quarter of this box to go. Uh, it's been a winner here so far, folks. But let's see if we can get anything else out of this. This has definitely been worth the wait for me. Bram and I, we did stay up to watch the uh, basketball game last night. He is big Mr. Heat right now. Once the Bucks are out, he then turns to a Heat fan, and uh, he was into the game last night. A lot of no, no, no's. What are they doing? What are they calling through the majority of the game, which uh, could be difficult to watch with sometimes, but uh, I was just in enjoying the game. I had the Heat plus eight and a half. So I was just kind of kicking back and enjoying uh, most of the game, but he was pretty happy. All right, last one here. I still can't believe how fire those first six packs were, whatever it might have been. All righty, let's see. Colson Montgomery, number 43 for the Chicago White Sox. Another numbered card, James Wood. Look at this right here, 74. Out of 75, so another numbered card. Holy cow. Man, oh man, we are getting pretty good with this box here, folks. Gordon Carroll. Oh, there's the one-two punch right there. Morell and Suzuki. Jordan Alvarez. Andrew Painter. Sights on September. Do you remember? Graham told me never to sing again after I did Country Boy Can't Survive. But that was back when, like, no one was watching. So that's no big deal, right? Lazario Montez, Seattle Mariners, outfielder. Wander. Michael Bush, number 31.
All right, but well, this is definitely not too shabby here, folks. We had this James Wood, 74 out of 75. We had this Juan Alonzo, 248 out of 250. This Cam Collier, 64 out of 125. I don't think this one's numbered, is it? No. We have the Jackson Trio, number one, and a Drew Jones autograph, 87 out of 150. Thanks for hanging around, folks. Class is dismissed.